Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. I want to go to radar first. This really tells the story. This Pacific regime is now in place where we're going to see storm systems hitting the west coast and then we're going to get waves of leftover moisture. We're going to get the leftovers through the interior Rockies for some time to come through at least the 28th. Uh, but the storm system hitting California right now, that is inbound snow high in the Sierra for the Sierra late tonight. 2021 20, into early 22, I would say above 7,500 to 8,000 feet. That's where your best accumulation is going to be. Also, you'll notice some precip up there in the Pacific Northwest as well. Let me show you what I'm thinking here this afternoon. Latest uh, information, latest trends, all part of this warmer Pacific pattern engaging through the 28th. The Sierra snow comes in late tonight through the 22nd, again above 7,500 feet. And Utah, you're going to get some light to moderate snow in the Wasatch. Um, the afternoon of the 20th through the morning of the 22nd. So that'll, that'll be a little bit of weekend snow, but uh, as you're going to see, it's, it's really not that impressive. In Wyoming, light snow on the 20th and 21st. Colorado, light snow on the 21st and 22nd. I mean, so really you get the picture. This is much, much different than what we were dealing with with the major storm cycle and the Arctic outbreak a week ago entirely different. The northeast, you've got some snow coming. Afternoon 123 through 127. All right, I want to take you back and I want to show you what the forecast radar and satellite look like. So there's your current state of affairs, matches up with radar. Here we are on Saturday morning. There's your snow through the high Sierra from Mammoth to Tahoe to Shasta. And then some of that breaks loose and moves into the interior. So again, we're talking about leftovers. Here we are on Sunday morning at 6 a.m., some light snow in Colorado, the Tetons, and the Wasatch. And this whole thing is going to turn into a little southern track low. You can see the precip moving through Las Vegas, and that'll hit uh, the four corners there late on Sunday into Monday, spreading some additional snow through Utah, Colorado, New Mexico. And then another storm system right there hitting California. Once again, snow levels about 7,500 feet. There's Monday afternoon. There's Tuesday in the morning. Tuesday afternoon, another southern track low. And by Wednesday in the morning and Wednesday afternoon, another storm hits the Pacific Northwest. So you kind of see it. Pacific Northwest, California, Pacific Northwest, California. That's kind of what we're looking at. All right, let's talk about the jet stream pattern here. All part of this uh, strong subtropical jet that's really the mechanism for all of this. And this is going to run us, this is the 20th, like very late in the day. So the jet stream tomorrow. Doors wide open for warm air. Here's the, the forecast on 123 late in the day. Still powerful jet. Look at the, the trough supporting those southern track lows coming, uh, coming through the four corners there on 123 late in the day. Now, this is, um, this is 128. No cold air anywhere across the lower 48 with this, this setup. I mean, jet stream is way up into Canada at this point with some high-pressure ridging off the California coast. All right, new grand totals map as of this afternoon. So potentially 8 inches, and this is a grand total through the 28th. I'll show you what this actually breaks down into by period coming up. In Colorado, uh, 4 to 8 inches, 5 to 6 up there in the, uh, the Tetons. The heaviest stuff's up in B.C., Washington State, and the Sierra could see 10 to 20 inches um, above 7,500 to 8,000 feet. Okay, so let's look at it. Uh, let's zoom in first. The grand total map, I-70 corridor, Colorado. Again, probably 3 to 8 inches of total snow during that time period. Let's go a little further west into the West Elks. Not much here. You know, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 inches of snow. That's probably going to do it for grand totals. Uh, here it is by period, and you can see really how light it is. So rest of today through tomorrow, very light snow. A little bit in Utah, a little bit of Wyoming, and... A little moderate snow there above 7,500 feet in, in California. Second period, this is 121 through 123, so another 2 to 3 inches in the Tetons, Wasatch, another 2, 3, 4, 5 inches in parts of Colorado, and potentially another 5 to 10 there in the Sierra above 7,500 feet. Final period, looks very similar, another 2 or 3 inches in the Tetons, the Wasatch, and 2 to 4 in Colorado, a little heavier in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. So you can see it's, it's, it's light shots of snow through each period, through each time period. We're not talking these big, giant northwest flow, west-northwest flow patterns like we saw a week ago. Here's 119 through 128 in the northeast. Again, most of the snow comes 124 and beyond, and it's like a two- or three-day period where we see most of this accumulation occur, probably 4 to 10 inches. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon. Mountain weather update. Appreciate it. Have a great weekend, and thanks for tuning in here.